Ever wondered why one of the most powerful empires in history, the Roman Empire, fell into decline? This grand civilization was once the epicenter of the known world, boasting a vast territory that stretched from the sun-drenched sands of northern Africa to the chilly outposts of northern Europe. The Roman Empire was an extraordinary fusion of military might, political savvy, and architectural grandeur. Its legions, disciplined and ferocious, were the envy of the world. Its political systems, intricate yet efficient, were a testament to the ingenuity of human governance. Its architectural marvels, still standing today, echo the empire's grandeur and ambition. However, as with all great empires, the Roman Empire was not immune to decline. The first signs of decay began to surface, subtle but significant. Political corruption, a malady as old as civilization itself, began to gnaw at the empire's core. Senators became more interested in their own gain than the welfare of the empire. The emperor's power grew unchecked, often leading to brutal and unstable rule, shaking the very foundations of the Roman political order. The empire itself, once a unified and formidable entity, began to divide. The east and the west, each with its own emperor, moved in different directions both culturally and politically. This division weakened the empire, leaving it more vulnerable to external threats and internal strife. Meanwhile, the cost of maintaining the Roman army, the very heart of the empire, became increasingly burdensome. With the empire stretched thin across vast territories, the need for a large and well-equipped army was paramount. However, the colossal cost of maintaining such a force began to drain the empire's coffers, leading to economic instability and discontent among the populace. So, the cracks in the mighty Roman Empire had begun to show, setting the stage for its inevitable fall. The empire that once stood as an unshakable monument to human achievement was now on a downward spiral, a path that would lead to its ultimate demise. But what was the tipping point? What finally pushed this once great empire over the edge? Well, that's a story for the next scene. But what was the straw that broke the camel's back? What led to the downfall of this grand empire? Let's plunge into the tumultuous times when the Roman Empire began to crumble. Picture this, a formidable empire that had stood the test of time, now battling with the relentless attacks by the barbarian tribes. The Visigoths, the Vandals and the Ostrogoths, to name a few, were pounding at the gates, gradually chipping away at the Roman dominance. But the threats were not just external, inside the empire's walls the seeds of discord had been sown. The Roman society was in turmoil, corruption was rife and political instability became the order of the day. The once revered Roman military was now a husk of its former self, no longer the indomitable force it used to be. The Praetorian Guard, once the protectors of the empire, were now kingmakers, selling the throne to the highest bidder. In the midst of this chaos, a new player entered the field. Christianity, a faith that preached the values of humility and charity, began to spread across the empire. To the ruling class, this was a threat to their status quo. The traditional Roman values of military might and social hierarchy were being questioned. The people were beginning to believe in a power higher than their emperors, which further weakened the foundations of the Roman authority. These factors combined, creating a perfect storm. The barbarian invasions, the internal chaos and the rise of Christianity, these were not isolated events. They were interconnected, each influencing and amplifying the others, adding to the destabilization of the Roman Empire. So, what was the tipping point? It was a confluence of these factors, a cocktail of external attacks, internal chaos, and the introduction of a new faith. It was a time of change and upheaval, a time when the weaknesses of the Roman Empire were laid bare for all to see. The once mighty Roman Empire was now a shadow of its former self, grappling with internal and external threats. The year 476 AD marked the end of the Western Roman Empire. But what happened next? As the sun set on the Roman Empire, a Germanic warlord named Odoacer seized control. With the last Roman Emperor Romulus Augustus dethroned, Odoacer proclaimed himself the King of Italy, marking the official end of the Western Roman Empire. The fall of this once magnificent empire didn't happen overnight, nor was it the result of a single battle. It was a gradual decline, a culmination of centuries filled with internal corruption, economic crises, and ceaseless barbarian invasions. The empire that once commanded the world was now nothing more than a memory. But what happened in the aftermath of this monumental fall? Well, the world didn't stop spinning. Life went on, but the world was forever changed. The fall of the Western Roman Empire led to a period commonly referred to as the Dark Ages. 
This era, stretching from the 5th to the 15th century, was characterized by a significant decline in economic activity and cultural output. The vast territories that once made up the Roman Empire fragmented into smaller feuding kingdoms. These were often at war with each other leading to a cycle of instability and conflict. However, it wasn't all doom and gloom. The fall of the Roman Empire also sparked a period of great change and innovation. The power vacuum left by the fallen empire allowed for the rise of new kingdoms and the spread of new ideas. It paved the way for the Byzantine Empire in the east and the rise of the Holy Roman Empire in the west. The fall of the Roman Empire also led to the eventual rise of the Renaissance, a period of renewed interest in art, science and culture. This era saw the birth of some of the world's greatest artists, thinkers and innovators. It was a period of rebirth, of rediscovery, and of redefining what it meant to be human. The fall of the Roman Empire marked the end of an era, and the beginning of a new one. So, to recap, what were the major factors that led to the decline and fall of the Roman Empire? Well, first and foremost, the empire was plagued by political corruption, with leaders more interested in their own gain than the welfare of the empire. This, coupled with the divide of the empire into east and west, made it increasingly difficult to manage and defend. The immense cost of maintaining the army further drained the empire's resources. It was no longer the invincible force it once was and this fact did not go unnoticed by the barbarian tribes who launched relentless attacks. Internal chaos, driven by economic instability and social unrest, only served to hasten the decline. The introduction of Christianity also played a part, as it shifted the focus from the glories of the earthly realm to the promise of an eternal one. And finally, the capture by Odoacer, a Germanic king, marked the end of the mighty Roman Empire. The fall of the Roman Empire is a stark reminder of the transient nature of power and the inevitability of change.